Good afternoon, morning, evening or night, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Alex, and this episode's subject comes in from Bad Wolf German Dalek. What are your thoughts on Halo, the Master Chief Collection? Oh, the Master Chief Collection. You you made my heart sore when you were announced. I couldn't believe you were a thing that existed. It, it couldn't be possible. And I'm afraid it, it kind of was too good to be true in the end, because once, once the game was there on my console, preloaded, ready to go... It didn't work, and still to this day doesn't really work. I've sort of almost given up on it at this point. Okay, is it a good deal for a new Xbox One over owner, even, to uh, get every Halo game with the Master Chief in it in one package, one easy, easy-to-play package with all the campaigns, Spartan Ops, all, all the multiplayer maps? Yes, it's a really good deal. Was it a little bit too ambitious for the time constraints they had? Yes, yes, it was, evidently. And I, I see both sides of the argument here. Straight up, it's not acceptable to release a game that doesn't work. Maybe behind the curtain, they, they thought they were ready. Maybe they thought the netcode was fine. Uh, you know, it, it's hard to know. Without being a fly on the wall and seeing exactly what's going on, it, there's probably a high chance that they did know that the game was, was, was not going to function properly on that respect with the multiplayer. And what are you going to do about that now? They've released it. And you can see why they wanted to release it that day, especially because it was the 10-year anniversary of Halo 2. Does that make it okay? No, but you can sort of see the thinking behind it. And because it is so broken, that they have made a pretty decent apology by giving away uh, ODST, Halo 3 ODST, for free. They're adding it to the collection. It doesn't have Master Chief in it, so it kind of defies the name and makes it not really make sense anymore. But who cares? It's a free game. Um, if you got it between launch and somewhere in December... And another free map, Halo 2 uh, remastered map. Does that make it okay still? No. You still released a fucking broken game that still isn't working. And what I mean by not working is the matchmaking. The matchmaking, you can't find a game. And when you do, at least when I've found one, it's so laggy and people just quit. You just People quit and, the, and it makes the game unplayable. Because on day one, they had all these playlists of, of all, all the different Halo games, all the different um, play types and all these things. Slayer, Big Team for each Halo game, and then none of them worked. So they pulled a bunch of them out, so now it's just bare bones, just a few game types you can play because it's so broken. And I got into a few of them, and I sat, it's just like, what a shame. What a shame this is, because this would be, this would set the precedent for HD remakes, and what an awesome way to reinvigorate Halo, isn't it? Because people were all down on Halo 4, they thought, oh, it's over now, I guess. What a, what a badass way it would have been. They could have like they could have tracked which which Halo people were playing the most to sort of craft Halo Five in that direction. But now, oh god, what a what a kerfuffle, eh? What an absolute clusterfuck it's become. And you know what? It doesn't it doesn't even bother me that much in, in terms of the multiplayer not working purely because I'm the campaign guy. I'm the one who gets into the story and all that and going through all the single player stuff and getting all the achievements and all that silly n nonsense. But I do enjoy multiplayer, and I've I've just sort of boycotted the game from now. It's like I'm not going to play this until it it works, you know. Because while Halo might be a single player story thing for me, for most people, it's the arena based multiplayer shooter that is Halo. And when that is the thing in your game that you're selling it for, and it doesn't work, that's not acceptable. That really just is atrocious. It really does make me question what was going on behind the scenes. They must have known. They must have had some idea what sort of state the game was in. You know, it, it's so difficult to know what their thought process was if they really did know if this game was broken, as in the, the matchmaking code. Because it, it's all well and good to playtest in your controlled little environments with 16 consoles all linked together playing on the, a, a, a small network. But when you plug in millions of people, of course it's going to react differently. Did they not stress test it? Did they not think about these things i mean this is a huge company their biggest ip on the system nailing the landing of this game was arguably one of the most important things the xbox one had to do this year is it a a 343 network issue is it a xbox live network issue i don't know where the problem is sort of originating from but it needs to be fixed this it's been too long it's been a month pretty much it's been a month and the game still isn't working as intended as it was advertised. It's absolutely ridiculous. And does this make me a little bit nervous about Halo 5? Yes and no. They've got this they've got such an early beta coming out 
which we still don't know if it's going to work properly on that front yet because they're releasing this beta as well as the game not being repaired yet but still they've still got a full year to sort of wrap halo 5 up get it all polished and everything so i don't know i'm I feel like Halo 5 is a separate entity to the Master Chief Collection because it is so much content they had to try to get working and it just it just didn't work out in the end. It, if they could have just delayed it, just delayed it for a month or two, if that was all they needed, even if it did miss that Halo 2 um, anniversary, 10 year anniversary, it would have been worth it. It would have been worth just delaying it so everyone would be happy. Well, you know, you upset people immediately with the um, with when de- when you delay a game. But you upset people indefinitely when you um, when you don't delay it and release something that doesn't work. It's just an unacceptable uh, biz- business practice, and um, uh, it's just really pissing me off. How all these games are just releasing, and they're just like, yeah, okay, it's out there now, whatever. Sort of, sorry, all right, moving on. And it really, it really is, a, as I say, it's such a shame because those four campaigns, all fantastic. They all look really amazing in 60 frames, 1080p. It's all really well done with a lot of heart in it and everything it really sucks so have you tried playing maybe it works for you have you are you disappointed with it would this be the thing that would made you buy an xbox one but with all, all of this going on it makes you not want to get one tell me in the comments below and as always thanks for watching all comments and ratings are very much appreciated and make sure you leave a suggestion for future job labs i'll see you next time bye Yeah.